guess whose former bodyguard almost took a bullet? And guess what old hip hop couple are now expecting their first child? Cue, Cue the, the intro. intro. the doll and i am sophie joe and, and you, you are watching, watching sister sam doll sister. all right sorry um guys <laughs> this is a show where our voices can be heard and celebrated we've got everything you need from hot juicy topics to deep discussions and as always honey they are all from a sister's point of view yeah buddy all right guys we're going to start off the show with our first segment of the day which is sister celebrity scoop we got the latest news and the gossip for you. Bow, bow. <laughs> I don't know where the bows came from, but... Yeah, she started that. I just, you know... I, I, they just come out naturally. All right, guys. Get it into our first scoop of the day. We have some exciting news, guys. Some exciting breaking news. Okay, St. Louis. Um, rapper Nelly and singer Ashanti. Uh, she, they are expecting their first baby. Child together. How crazy is that? Yeah. Um... The couple has had the internet in a frenzy for a couple of months just because they're reconnected and right. rekindled. Like reuniting, it feels so good, Bob. Okay. okay. <laughs> Nelly and Ashanti are expecting their first child together. If you guys don't know, Ash- um, Nelly does have two kids. Well, kind of four kids already. Um, yeah. And Ashanti has zero. So this is really exciting. I mean, just to think, you know, you probably, Ashanti may be thinking as women get older, they don't have a love life. And then out of yeah. nowhere, she rekindles with Nelly and then boom, she's pregnant with her Right, first like, it's, I'm really happy for them. I mean, I've always loved them as a couple. And so now we've got this going on. Now she, neither of them or their, I guess, people have made an official announcement, but this is just what the sources are telling us. Exactly, so, and I believe the source. Yeah, so if it is true, congrats on order for them. So, woo! woo. <laughs> um, guys, our next story is a little bit of drama for your mama. Rapper Lil Wayne, or Lil Wayne's bodyguard is suing him. Uh, tell us more about it, Dale. Yeah, so apparently Lil Wayne's former bodyguard, he's been his bodyguard for years, is and we're not sure what all happened the details but he is claiming allegedly that wayne either put a gun out on him or took his gun not sure and threatened to kill him but long story short and there was also an alleged that he punched him in the face and threatened him with this and that you know with words so honey hey, wayne from that from from swamps okay <laughs> don't play around we don't know like they all said the details, but we will keep you guys updated on Wayne and the bodyguard situation. For sure. I'm not sure how much he's getting sued for just yet, but had the suing process has already started. So, you know, once he go to trial, we're going to stick our noses in it and make sure we give you guys all the juicy details. Take that to my trial. Shout out to Thug, okay? Oh, Hope yeah. you beat it. Not a... Uh, <laughs> uh, truly humbled under god thug's lawyer needs a raise sorry guys uh in our next story <laughs> Jeannie mai has spoken out and guys we all know that jeezy and Jeannie mai are getting a divorce after their beautiful daughter yes. um that they you know have together apparently jeezy is the one who cheated and that's the real tea but people are saying you know social media is saying that Jeezy just tried to get ahead of the story right. and foul first to make it look like it was something Jeannie did, but apparently he'd been the one creeping. Yeah, and since we're speaking on this, personally, I think that, I mean, if we're being real in the black community, uh, some of the black women did not like them together because she was Asian and the people had their own vendetta or their opinions about her, so I think this is really just some of them agreeing with not agreeing, but thinking that she was lying about this and that because, you know, when you already don't like somebody, it's so easy for you to believe something negative. Yeah. For example, the Kardashians. So, you know, um, 
Of course, this is all alleged, but this is what she's saying. And yeah. even Jeezy earlier, he said that they even went to castle. They went to castle. Yeah. That didn't work. It was irreconcilable. I don't know if that's the right word. Sorry, but it couldn't be yeah. uh, mended. Their situation. You know, I'm yeah. not in the marriage, but just because like they were only together for a second, and then it was like this newfound love. Jeannie always said she didn't want kids, and she ended up having a baby, and it it just sucks. But hey, I mean. We never know what's going on behind closed yeah, doors. And she she also made that statement that he's gonna have to pay up. Now I'm not sure if she said that, but on the story she was saying that you know because the infidel is gonna have to pay up or pay something mm-hmm. apparently. So don't we don't know how this is about to work out, but hopefully it doesn't turn into some toxic back and forth. You know those really messy divorces. Yeah. So. As the story, um, as more details come out about the story, we will, of course, keep y'all updated here on Sister Sound Off, which you can stream on all platforms <laughs> and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, let's get into the next story of... God dang it, I'm tired of talking about this man, y'all. <laughs> no, we told you guys last episode we was going to keep you updated, so child, we got to update. Okay. Diddy Puff Daddy. Guys, real quick, uh, this is our, well, my dog, Nipsey Blanco. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just wanted to be up here. So <laughs> they go a little scene of Nipsey while we shoot. And let's get into the Diddy scandal. Yes. So the update is, guys, it's basically he's getting drops. Okay. He's losing money. It's not. What What was this label? Diddy Dirty Money? Oh, Diddy Dirty Money. Oh, yeah. Diddy God. Dirty Money is not losing his dirty money. Okay. Literally. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's getting in. Of course, you guys, you know how these things work. When something like this comes out, they start losing endorsement deals, bookings, uh, mm-hmm. all kind of stuff. People fall out with them, everything. So, unfortunately, this is the case for Diddy. He has stepped down as chairman of Revolt TV. Right, which, guys, if I'm being honest, I have applied for many positions. They all just know this. I've applied for many positions for Revolt Media. Because, um, I, you know, I like media. And it... I'm not going to say this is, you know, we're not cheering on a black man being no. his, his image and his whole career being on a downfall. But yeah. also when you do wrong things, you know, allegedly, you're going to have to pay for it eventually. But I hate that another black man's, you know, long career is being tarnished and, and just dwindling yeah. on down. But also not only did he step down from as chairman of Revolt, but also his charity that I think he started a while years ago that he talked about not sure if he's the one that started it but i know he was heavily involved um it is called what is it called oh the it's a charter school and it's for the capital preparatory i think that's how you pronounce it capital charter school basically they cut ties with them Mm -hmm. so like bill cosby when he donated all the money to the hbcus half of them gave it back it's like we don't want (laughs) right we don't want no part so um i'm sure more things will unfortunately but fortunately happen for diddy uh and we will continue once again to keep y'all updated okay Um, our last scoop of the day is actually some sad sad, news guys yeah 90210 actress shannon uh doe hardy yes you guys know her from my older crowd beverly hills the hot show back in the day and if you know that show i'm sure you know shannon beautiful lady right now she's in her 50 she's 52 to be exact and she is fighting stage four breast cancer and now it has spread it to her her joints and her bones and as scary as that is surprisingly she's holding on she says she wants to live she's got things to do she's working with her doctors and most importantly she is not giving up exactly kudos to her because i can imagine what that's what that's yeah. like you, you know. know even just when we just announced the story how our tone changed yeah. you know i feel like when someone's um um what's the word what's the word not announced what's it called? diagnosed with cancer immediately we think the worst immediately we get a sad tone yeah i don't even want to report the story like that so we're going to keep her in high hopes yes and because she can beat this she can things can change around yeah. nothing is impossible without the good lord above yeah, so we're definitely keeping our thoughts and our prayers with her and her family. Exactly. So, guys, uh, switching gears here, lighten up the mood just a little bit. We're going to hop into Housewives Hot Minutes. <laughs> Y'all know this is my favorite segment of the show. As the resident Bravo stan I am, Danielle is going to give me 60 
seconds on the clock to break down the most recent episode of right now we're covering real housewives of potomac and boy was the episode juicy yes and only 60 seconds so 60 let's seconds, see y'all. we gotta talk to the higher ups and see how i can get some more time yeah because at least make it two minutes cause last time she was struggling <laughs> <laughs> gotta get my breath control <laughs> Okay, sis, sounding off on Housewife, the clock starts now. All right, guys, so the most recent episode, we know Mia is uh, going to counseling with her husband, and she was saying that she wanted to file for divorce because they're going through a lot of financial issues, as you guys know, that um, her husband has been kicked out of their family business. Um, so that's one thing. The girls took a girl's trip to Austin, Texas, and of course, NECA is included because she's a new cast member. Um, Candace and Giselle finally talk, but barely, and what I've decided and what they've decided also is that they're not going to be able to squash this beef from last season about Giselle saying that Candace's husband was trying to do something inappropriate to her. Um, by the way, I want to say, Wendy looks great in the scene when they was outside by the pool at the resort. Wendy looks fire. 24 seconds left. Wendy and NECA talk. That's a whole messy situation. I don't believe NECA, and I think it's a messy situation about the whole shrine thing, but it looks like Wendy got caught in a lie from three years ago about not knowing, um, NECA's cousin-in-law. That's all I got, and I made it with eight seconds Woo! left! Okay. <laughs> That was that was good, and you had good breath control. She had wow. good breath control. Oh, child. Let me take a sip of this coffee over here. <laughs> Any uh, coffee people that want to sponsor this show, I'm a huge iced coffee drinker. I'll let you girl. And I'm a huge smoothie drinker, Tropical Cafe or Smoothie King. Hey, how y'all yeah, doing? Don't speak into existence. <laughs> yes. Um, while I catch my breath, they all bring us into the next segment, please. Yes. So while sis is over there getting her uh, drink on, I'm going to be giving you guys the segment of Who's Making Moves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why we can sing. We'll show y'all a little bit of that later on throughout the show. <laughs> right. So guys, uh, once again, um, this is only our second episode. So just to get you guys familiar with Who's Making Moves is about, it's just about us uplifting one influencer celebrity or just young person doing big things in a big way so you yeah. know people giving back just really looking out for the community and the world we're shining a light on them yes because with all the negative crap that we see on the internet every once in a while you gotta shout out something positive yep. so since who are we shouting out that's i could make it Big boss moves. Guys, this episode on Sister Celebrity Scoop, once again, you can uh, <laughs> subscribe and listen to us on all it's, your streaming platforms. It's giving, it's giving Ray J oh, and Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got to promote every time. We do. Okay. I'm trying to quit my job ASAP. Okay. Um, so, guys, sorry. Who's making moves this week is none other than hey. Haley. Hallie. It's, Hallie. It's Hallie. Hallie Bailey. Yes. Sorry for the mispronunciation, girl. I love you. So, I've been watching Hallie and her sister Chloe on YouTube from years ago before they blew up. Yes, when they first started and they was Playing on the piano. piano. Super They're, talented. Girl. And then it was like, fast forward, boom. Boom. Like, first black, little, uh, first black, well, I'm not going to say first black, but playing one of the most popular Disney princesses, the Little Mermaid. As a black woman? Come on, with dreads? Come on now. Come on. Come on with us. And I love how she shut all of the racist Karens and haters up with her spectacular performance and the voice was voicing, yep, okay? It did, it did amazing numbers at the box office mm. as well. Mm. So not only uh, is she did she act in that, but you guys know that she was a, a starring role from Grownish on ABC, yes. which I love that show. Her and her sister, they, do, they did a great job with that. Yep. And her most recent role coming up She's going to be in The Color Purple. Yes. And if you guys are not, uh, have not jumped in that bandwagon, they, bandwagon, I'm sorry. They are remaking that movie. So and it's going to come out on Christmas Day. We're going to go see it. So yes. maybe we'll do a little behind the scenes on our Instagram. Make sure you guys follow us over there at Sister Sound Off underscore. Yes. Um, and we'll, we might, hey, we might give all the review on Instagram of how we think the movie was. Oh, yeah. If you guys would like to check that out, yeah. you know, we can. Let you guys know how it was in case you and your family want to go out and see it. Hey, we got you. Um, not only is Hallie doing great things in the acting and the singing world, yes. but she is also a humanitarian, in my opinion. Um, so Hallie announced her $10,000 Angel for Black Women in Performing Arts Scholarship. Um, as a performing arts young cat, I used to be. 
this is really huge. I feel like the performing arts world is a field that's kind of slept on when kids are in school because people are so focused on sports. Yeah. But people who are talented in music, writing, art, you know, acting, being, all of that, yeah. being like too. So I love that she did that. Shout out to Hallie Bailey. Bailey. Sorry, yeah. y'all. I got to get the name right. <laughs> I think it's Hallie, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, girl, you're doing big things. You're beautiful. You're talented. I don't think you're pregnant, but we just gonna keep on rolling with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I see how she slipped that in. I was gonna ignore it and skip over that part. <laughs> you know, shout whatever. out to BDG though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, you know, you're happy and everything's going great. Like I said, you look great, and we're so proud of you. We can't <laughs> wait to see what you do in the future. Of course. So, guys, um, this is a segment on the show that we're getting into called Pop Culture's Biggest Moments. Yes. Forgot to that one. With this segment, you guys, we are taking you a stroll back down on memory lane with some of the messiest, juiciest, beefiest, just, you know, big moments that's happened in the past that some of these y'all probably forgot about. And for this moment, guys, we are taking you back down memory lane to 2009 VMAs on MTV. Woo! I know y'all already know what we talking about. Yes, it's drunk ass Kanye West and Mrs. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> and Beyonce. Yes. Guys, let's just relive that moment for a second. Yeah. How huge that moment was in and, pop culture. It unexpected. Like Taylor Swift winning video of the year. Um for her song, um Please, You Belong With Me. You belong yes. with me. And, and the she v- won it, sorry, she won it over Beyonce single lady, which also, as we know, was a huge hit. hit. Yeah. Um, and the video, for me personally, it was really cute. It was like a teenage movie. It, you know, and you can tell she put a lot of work and thought into it. However, so did Beyonce single ladies. I mean, that whole choreography just, I mean, hello, it shook up the world. So I personally think they both deserve it. However, and I've said this before regardless of whether you thought Beyonce should have took it or Taylor what Kanye did was completely out of line he was on that that hen dog he really was on that Hennessy (laughs) and his ass definitely deserved a Will Smith slap now that now that could have been the moment that was justified if we talking about laying the paws on somebody like scrap (laughs) but because honey I mean, and it was very disrespectful. Yeah. You know, Taylor Swift, anybody being a young artist or old artist, you working hard, you finally win an award that's so huge in front of all these people yeah. watching. And then here comes Ye up there. Ye <laughs> sipping on Ye. Because they had the best video of all time. Yeah. And it's just like, and then for giving me a chance to win a VMA award, I. <laughs> Yo, Taylor. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. And hands her back the mic, like, okay, well, here you go. And then did this. And I it rem- was just such a mouth drop moment. Even Beyonce was like, oh, and the hell? Yeah, and I remember the look on Taylor's face. Like, she just looked, she didn't even know what to say. And then it was, it came out later that Pink, you guys know Pink, pop, pop legend, was backstage. She was back there crying. Everybody was trying to console her. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus. But of course, later on in the show, you guys probably don't remember this part, but Beyonce came on stage because she won. I think it was best single for single ladies. Yeah. So she gave Taylor her moment. And she was yeah. like, I know how it is to be a night. I think she, Taylor Swift was like 19 at the time. Yeah. I know how it is to be a young, you know, star in the making and how important all this is to yeah. you. So that just shows um, how much of a class act the queen be is. She no really matter how much is. people think she's overhyped. Yeah. Or it's Snooby. And I've heard so much stuff. But yeah, she was really sweet for that and, and um and, and fast forward all the way up i was now, gonna bring that right on 2003 <laughs> we have taylor swift attending beyonce's renaissance uh premiere we yes have, uh you know vice versa beyonce attending taylor taylor's Swift's um era concert thing. yeah her so. era's premiere and so yeah it's crazy and then just to add on to this fast forward a few years later when connie and kim was together 
he made, I don't know if y'all remember that little song he made with the whole controversy around all the people who's done stuff, you know, celebrities, oh, and it was done, 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 done something. Together. I made that bitch famous. He was talking about Taylor. And yeah. then that whole debacle happened, and then she basically got on stage the three, uh, the next year was whatever award she won, and she was just like... Just a few days ago, Taylor Swift broke another record for the number one streaming artist. One I don't know billion. in the world or in the U.S., but she beat Bad Bunny. So, I mean, the girl's got a huge, crazy mm-hmm. fan base. I'm not a Swifty, but I do appreciate some of her songs, okay? The Purple Lavender Haze is my hit right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is it, guys, for Pop Culture's Biggest Moment. Every now and then, we will be popping in these segments in our shows just to take you guys back to some things that have happened yeah. in the past in pop culture because we love to Do break it. down the mm-hmm. story. And let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, follow, share. You know, yeah. what What did you take from it back then? When and where were you when it happened? Yeah, you know. Absolutely. Um, guys, so we are actually getting ready to, unfortunately, because I know you hate to see us go. I know. Uh, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> our last segment of the show is, of course, a little bit of positivity, you know, with yeah. Danny's dose. Yes, this is me giving you a dose of positive energy so you can take with you for the rest of the week. And this one is real simple, but it's something that you definitely need to think about in case you are in this situation. And it goes like this. Sometimes you have to be the beauty and the beast. Okay? Sometimes you got to play both roles. And shout out to Nicki Minaj because she's the person who said it. (laughs) But um, yeah, you know, and with that being said, what I mean is sometimes it's okay to be beautiful and sweet and kind, but it's, there are times when people take advantage of that. So that's when beast mode has to come in. So you've got to be the beauty and sometimes you got to put your foot down and be a bitch. And that doesn't always mean anything bad. It means you're a woman, you know your worth, and you stand up for yourself. So all my girls out there, be a beauty and a beast. Hey, Period. you heard what Tyler Perry said. Uh, Kinte put his foot down and almost got chopped out. Oh Only a certain demographic would know what I'm talking about when I say that. If you're a part of that demo, comment down below. Yes, shout out to Tyler Perry. He's got a documentary coming up. We cannot wait to cover it. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Well, guys, that wraps up our episode two of Sister Sound Off. Yes. Be sure to follow me personally on Instagram at Sophie Joe. And please follow me, Danny the Doll. That's D A N N I E T H E D O L L. Of course, you can follow our uh, podcast Instagram at Sister Sound Off underscore. Make sure y'all are streaming on all platforms <laughs> where you get your podcast. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Like, we're on everything. There ain't no way you can miss us. Right. Just tell a friend. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, just give us a like and we'll be appreciative of that. So, uh, guys, that wraps up episode two. We will see you in episode three. Yes. So, stay tuned. See you next week. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die.